So some companies in the U.S. are offering 401k plans that actually come with monthly checks. According to the Wall Street Journal, the offered plan turns a portion of retirement savings into fixed lifetime payments through target date funds that are embedded with annuities. If you want to understand what that means more specifically, here in Studio 57 with me is Javier David. He's a CBS News contributor and the managing editor of business and markets at, at Axios. So, Javier, you and I have been talking about this. When I hear it, what it sounds like is an old school pension. So yes. walk us through how exactly this works. So that's basically the best way to think about it. It is a defined benefit program. It basically guarantees you a check in retirement after a certain age. Um, it's like a paycheck. And so, in fact, um, BlackRock calls it life path. It's, it's just you think about it. The best way to think about it is a way to receive money every week, every month, whatever. Um, but you don't have to sort of freak out about how much you have, like retirement accounts. Mm -hmm. They're, you know, they're actually quite useful, but um, it's a big lump sum that you get at the end when you're ready to retire, what have you. Um, and, and this is a great way. Yeah, and nobody knows how long you can, and, and that's how much the, they can yeah, take. And so this precisely, and this, so this speaks to the, sort of the anxiety that we're having as a public. People are either in retirement and they're realizing that the money that they have saved just doesn't stretch nearly enough. If you're, you know, relying exclusively on Social Security, God forbid, that money doesn't go nearly as much as it should. And people that aren't yet quite at retirement are a little getting anxious because mm -hmm. they see all of this happening and they see prices rising and they all start asking themselves. How do we sort of make it all work when we're not working, when we not, we're not entirely sure about how much we're going to have? And this is all of a piece with Larry Fink, the CEO of BlackRock, who has spoken very eloquently lately about the retirement crisis. So, you know, all of this means that, you know, we're living in a time where people are anxious, prices are rising, uh, and there's a real fear that when you get to a certain age in your golden years where you're supposed to be sort of enjoying life and not really necessarily thinking about it, uh, money just is still a concern. So is this going to be something, it sounds like this is going to be something that's going to impact you, me, potentially other people who are still working, but mm. not the silver tsunami that's coming in now that are now looking at retirement. Yeah, in the, and, and, and in the, the tsunami is a really, yeah, the tsunami is the best, really good way to put it because it's a lot of people that are retiring and a lot of them are going to uh, be faced with a real unpleasant surprise about how much they have vis-a-vis -vis how much they're going to need. So we used to have pensions mm. that made way to 401ks, and mm. now it's sort of this hybrid 401k yeah. pension system. Do you expect that this is going to become the standard? It's, it's very limited, we it, should say, right now. It's right, very right. Limited. So BlackRock has one company that is dedicated to doing it right now, and they have about 12 or 13 others that are signed up for it. I think a total of 500,000 people are going to have this benefit. It'll be uh, offered like around 55. Um, so, you know, that means that like, you know, the, you, you have a small buy-in, but like you, the pensions fell out of favor because they just are very difficult to make work at scale. They're very expensive. Mm -hmm. The auto industry, last year when we were having all of these discussions about UAW and them organizing in certain places, this was kind of the subtext of that. They want to bring pensions back because they do feel like it's just much more generous for people who, you know, are, again, freaked out about retirement and trying to make it all work and making the numbers work. Uh, but it's very, very difficult. It's challenging. Companies don't, you know, again, fell away that this thing fell away out of favor because uh, people were just finding it was just too expensive. Yeah. And make it easy and make it work for people. Javier, yeah. yes. thank you. Absolutely.